Now, the increasing number of cancer-related cases among children due to the COVID-19 impact has prompted the British High Commission to provide modern isolation rooms to children living with cancer at Blessed Child Foundation in Kampala. The first secretary political at British High Commission Kampala, Simon Tucker, was shocked with increasing cases and reiterated more support. Brian Walusimbi, executive director, Blessed Child Foundation, says the survival rate of the children diagnosed with the disease is as low as 20 to 30 percent due to inequalities in access to care. This was part of the commemoration to mark the International Childhood Cancer Day. A recent research done by Blessed Child Foundation and partners showed that cancer is now the leading cause of death among children, especially in low and middle income households. According to a pediatric oncologist, Dr. Annie Akuru, about 1,000 children are diagnosed with cancer. She asserts that because of the inequalities to access care, the survival rate in these lower families stands at 20%, lower than in high-income households, where recovery is at 80%. The COVID-19 pandemic crippled this family's ability to operate because of fear to separate the virus, thereby exacerbating the situation. The Uganda Cancer Institute, for example, sees about 500 new cases of childhood cancer here. And then there is another treatment center in Olago Hospital which sees approximately 300 new cases of childhood cancer every year. And this is going up. And yet there is a treatment center in Bulu and another treatment center in Parara. So you can imagine what the magnitude of childhood cancer is in Uganda. Unfortunately, the cause of childhood cancer is actually unclear. In lieu of this, a diplomatic delegation from the British High Commission in Kampala has donated modern COVID-19 isolation rooms at Blessed Child Foundation Kampala towards safety of children living with cancer. The gesture is expected to mitigate spread of COVID-19 within the children and enable the home to operate efficiently in supporting childhood cancer care. But from my perspective, it's amazing to see this support given to parents and children uh, uh, of children with cancer to really ensure that they can get the most from their medical treatments. Uh, as we know, medical treatment is not enough. It needs the wraparound support that Blessed Child Foundation is here and able to give. It was wonderful to meet. The executive director, Blessed Child Foundation, Brian Walusimbi, asserts that early diagnosis, which is the major hiccup to many families due to deficient awareness, can save lives of many children living with cancer. And then watching their lives end at a really early age. So we as much awareness as possible in the villages and in every uh, region of Uganda for people to get to know about childhood cancer. The cure is possible if the disease is detected early. The launch of the isolation rooms was in commemoration of the International Childhood Cancer Day. Blessed Child Foundation is providing care and physio-social support services to over 400 children suffering from cancer-related diseases. Story by Robert Waiter for UBC News.